Hey guys, welcome back to my Final Fantasy team playthrough, and we've just finished Operation Meehan, and oh boy, was Mace that a doozy. Strict. I guess, I guess I'll just have to do better. Yeah, I'm sure you will. So anyway. Hey, how's it going, Walker? You can't ignore the teachings. Crusaders will never rise again, sadly. I can't interact with Kamari. Okay, cool. Rest while you can. We leave soon. Sure. I'm gonna quickly grab this treasure chest. What's in here? High potion. Okay, neat. Sin is checked. Yeah. For a while there, I thought I could feel him. But that doesn't mean I believe you. Uh huh, sure. Sin is checked. He came here for you. So he killed all those people just for a chance to see me? That's what Sin does. He wanted to show that to you. Do you know why? How am I supposed to know? So you would kill him. Hey. As long as he is Sin, Jekt will keep killing. He wants you to stop him. You gotta be kidding. How do you know all of this anyway? <laughs> I'm not done talking to you. Don't you run away. You're the one running. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so anyway. Now that that's done, uh, we can finally get a move on. Hey, Shalinda, what do you have to say? Are you alright? Keep up the good Thank work. You. I will. It wasn't supposed to end. Well, <laughs> what, what were you expecting, really? Awaka, talk to I me. I made a bundle with the operation prices. But the way it turned out, they deserved a better deal. Indeed. So, what have you got? Nothing I don't already have? Okay, cool. I guess the summoners are our only hope. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, time to keep going. Hey, you two. Hurry up. She's awfully cheerful. Yeah, especially after such a horrific event like that. In dark times, she must be. She must shine bright. Huh? Gasp. Now are dark times. Yuna tries hard. We should help her then. If we worry, she tries harder. Do not frown. But you frown all the time. Don't worry, be happy. Kimari, try too. Smile, let me see. Sad. <laughs> yeah, it is. I think they do something like that again in um, the Final Fantasy VII remake, where they have a red 13 smile like that. What have you got? Oh, no, never mind. Oh! This is perfect. Hang on. Oh, hi, Seymour. Uh, first, let's switch in Kamari and have him use Lancet on these so we can get Stone Breath. Because I actually didn't get uh, Fire Breath or Self Destruct uh, while on uh, while we're in the last area, so this, is, so yeah. Also, I've decided to use a little cheat to bring Seymour back into the party because why not? I normally shouldn't be able to do this, but hey. I think I'm just gonna do this every so often, just randomly bring Seymour back into the party, <laughs> just cause. Oh, you know what? I really could use um, some more abilities. Okay, so normally that would uh, he would have been petrified there, and and uh, yeah, then you would have had to use a soft turn in order to free him. But you know, since I already have a ribbon equipped, it doesn't even matter. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, here's the thing about... Uh, one th other thing I forgot to mention is that Seymour is not affected by uh, save spears. And there we go, there's his victory animation. Yeah, so Seymour's not affected by the save spears, so that's why his MP is... Um, still... Yeah, that's why his MP didn't refill. I'm gonna bring in uh, Seymour every so often, just cause. I know, it's just fun. Um, hang on. What have you got? You got, and I think we'll use Lance on you. Oh. Thought I was gonna get something out of that. Okay, never mind. Yeah, so this is what happens if you use Requiem outside of the, it's, uh, the, that since Born Boss fight. Oh yeah, and Seymour also doesn't appear in the menu, so yeah. Uh, you know, if Seymour ha had been allowed to be, like, fully playable, I wonder, like, where on the sphere grid he would have appeared. I'm honestly really curious about that. Um... Oh yeah, so these guys, they're resistant to magic, so what you really want to do is take them out with uh, Waka. And... Have anything else? Extract speed. Ah, oh, I missed completely. Anyway, I think we'll switch uh, Seymour out now. Come on, let's see if I can get him again. Yeah! Sweet, got him. I can think of at least a couple of spots where I'm going to be, where I definitely want to use Seymour, just 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 because it would be really funny. But uh, yeah. You know what? I think I'll use Seymour here. Oh, funny, funny thing is that in Final Fantasy X this is actually like uh, one of my alternate parties is having Titus, uh, Orin, and Seymour working together. And of course I made sure to give Seymour Kiyoraga because like, he's the only person that can like multi-heal and such. Because you know, Titus and Orin aren't going to be able to heal themselves. Just thought that would be a fun fact to share. Anyway. That's how it's done. I wish they were fully controllable in TN2 though, but you know. I, I suppose like having them pump I suppose it's better than nothing, I guess, the whole creature creator system. And I'm getting really sick of these random encounters, so you know what, let's flee. Goodbye. You know what, let's disable battle so I don't have to run hey! into any more. How much longer till Xanarkand? Still a ways. First down the moon flow to the Guado city of Guado Salam. Then we it's not much the of a city. Plains to the temple of Makalania. Oh, boy. <laughs> and before that, we get to pray at the temple in Jose. Which is right over here. We can't just skip all that. Can we? Huh? No. Mm -mm. I have to pray to the faith in every temple in order to earn the final Aeon. That's a summoner's training. She's got to prepare mind and body, all just to get ready for the final summoning. Hmm. Must be tough, Yuna. <laughs> I'll be fine with you here. Oh, how sweet. Anyway. Hey, new guy. Me? I have a name, Yuna. Who else? What can I do for you, boss? Don't tell Yuna you know about yeah, Sin and Jet. T turn that off, that's really distracting. You know her. She would distance herself from you. 
We do not want that. Wow, look at the veins on Orin's hand. I think. Yeah, but even if I did say something, no one believed me, you know? Yuna would. Ah, you have a point. So you Can really you will just take your words at face did value? Did I really have to know about Jekt? What about my feelings? Better than you finding out at a critical moment, becoming emotional. What? Me? Emotional? Yes, you. I heard you were quite the crybaby. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Maybe when I was a kid. <laughs> Maybe even a little now. Just a little. Hey! I still don't buy your story, you hear? Lies. I love how those monkeys over, over there are for, following Oren around. What Yuna, do you guys have to it say? It is good to see you and your companions are well. Yourselves as well, Captain. We were worried. Praise be to Yevon. Oh. We escaped with our lives, but our troops were decimated. Of no, all our chocobos, only this one made it. Can I take it? pretty poor chocobo-mounted forces without chocobos. We turned our backs on the teachings and cast away our faith. This, this is our just reward. And that makes Operation Mihin a, a lot more meaningful in hindsight. Anyway. Is that Where's the Jose one? Temple? Yes. Look how big it is. Sheesh, how do you guys think they built this place? Must have taken ages for them to get this place all built built up, especially with all those with that whole rock covering thing the going on. Mushroom rock. It only opens when a summoner is addressing the faith. That means another summoner's already in there. Another summoner? What if it's Donna? I thought she was busy taking a nap. Right. In we go. Well, I guess her nap's over right now. Hey, can I talk I to you? Brave, but how? Um, the monks of Jose, Yevon still. How cute. Will, will Yevon? Okay, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, before we go inside, we got one other scene over here. Loser, he's. Where is he? I found him. But he was torn in half. I... That idiot! What? What do I do now? I can't do this. I'm going back to Besaid. Yeah. And if it's Loser that's here, the, he's pretty much beating himself over, over the fact that uh, Gata died. But yeah, this is the point where they finally uh, drop out of the plot, so. Anyway, if you come in here. Our beds are all taken by the wounded. You can rest if you don't mind sleeping on the floor. If you try and come over here, you, this guy will just, just keep blocking you from trying to get that treasure chest. Move out of the way, I want that treasure chest. Oh, screw you then. So you're a champion of the Evan now, Braska? How ironic. Oh, look who it is. I beg your pardon, but may I ask your name? It's Quentin Flynn. Governor Yuna from the Isle of Besaid. As I thought. The daughter of Lord Braska. You have the look of your father. My father? You knew him? No, I have never met the man. Ever. Uh, I only know your look apologies. because I keep staring at a statue all I day. I am Isaru. I am a summoner, like you. I'm Bussy. Pleased to meet you. And I'm Moroda. I'm guarding my big brother here. Since I was a child, I've always looked up to Lord Braska. 
quite literally. His tattoo is really big. Like he was. You must have some of your father's talent in you. I believe you might someday defeat Sin. I... I'm not really. I've only just become a summoner. Of course, I've no intention of losing either. Hmm. So perhaps we should race to see who can defeat Sin first, no? Oh, <laughs> Good luck with that. Very well then. I accept your challenge. Isaru! Yuna, I beg your leave. Good luck to both of us. Good luck with your little race, seriously, because you're you're basically having to work back. Like, we're still moving forward and you have to go backwards and then before you start moving forwards. Um, are there any more items left lying around I can pick up? Oh, there is. Mega Phoenix. Oh, Mega Phoenix is like the best healing item in the game. Basi it's basically a Phoenix down that fully restores it all, all HP and uh, can affect multiple party members. Uh. Quee quee. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I think it's time we go and uh, do this trial. Hey, you. I thought you were going. You are Yuna's guardian, no? Moroda's heard a curious rumor. I thought you should know. I heard it from those crusaders. Seems that summoners have been going out on pilgrimage and just disappearing. Uh-oh. It could just be the fiends got them, but not so many so quickly. Sorry I don't know more, but watch your back. Ain't much future for a guardian without a summoner, eh? Whoa, sure, I what? guess. What you all talking about? We're talking about doing your job as a guardian. Hey, I'm doing good. Right, big brother? Please be careful. We will. Will do. Passe! We're leaving! Be right there! See ya! See you around, kiddo. Anyway, time to begin the trial. Yes. Alright! Guardians, at attention! We are ready. Alright. Let's do it. Alright, so now that we're together as a party, this is where the trials get really weird, where it's like only Titus is the one doing the trial, whereas everyone is just hanging back, I guess. It would be really helpful if they actually, you know, gave us a hand, but, you know, apparently not. <clears throat> so anyway... Open the doors, and now we can see our little gimmick for this trial, which is to power up this Yevon Glyph. over here, we'll take this, and we'll place it right there, take this one, place it there, okay, and now we can push this pedestal. And now we can give this uh, this one sphere over here a special effect, so now it has both the power of a glyph sphere as well as the electricity of the Jose sphere. So what you want to do with it is, t is take it over and put it into this door. I think that, no, this is the only time that they ever actually try a combination spheres. So anyway. Put it on the pedestal, thank you. Alright, so put 
Row spheres on the pedestal, and then... Goodbye. Yeah, it'll just fall straight down if you don't uh, put um, if you don't put both spheres on, and then in which case you have to reset the uh, puzzle. All right, so come over here and activate this. That would really make me nervous to do in real life. Like one wrong move, and I'd be ele and I'd be electrocuted and then fall uh, into a bottomless pit if I mistime my jump. Anyway, let's bring that pedestal back. Awesome, okay, now we just need to, to, to move one more and then we'll practically be done. Oh, and if you look really closely, there's a faint glyph on, uh, in the background there. Now, of course, because of how faint it is, I ended up missing this on my first playthrough, so I had to redo this trial again, just to get the destruction sphere. See, here it is. So... Just gotta push all these in, and then we'll be able to end the trial. Okay, there we go, we're done. And if you, walk, if you want to, you can just walk into the middle of that electricity, but you won't get hurt. Alright, so you come over here and put the destruction sphere in. You can use the little elevator to go back down if you missed it, though. But, uh, yeah. And our reward? Magic Sphere. Okay. At least we're done now. Well, well, you again. Oh, look who made it. Still traveling. What is it, Bartello? You know this riffraff? You are... Aaron, no? What of it? My lips Can aren't moving. I shake your hand. Aaron. No. Sir Aaron. You're the reason I became a guardian. Oh, <laughs> uh, look, Bartello's a fanboy. Thank you, sir. This means so much to me. Calling the personal guardian the Lord Braska Riffraff? Ha! <laughs> and you call yourself a summoner? We're not in Kelika Temple, but poor Donna's still Bartelli getting roasted. Tell enough! Get back here! Hang in there, buddy! Eh? <laughs> what do you got to say, Walker? Quite the show, yeah? Not so good on the heart, though. Mm. Pick spot. Shut up. Wait. Excellent advice. You should try to settle down. You know we'll be blamed if anything happens. <laughs> like what? I swear, I'll never wash this hand again. 
Please, touch me with that hand and I'll remove it. How much longer? She sure is taking her sweet time. Jeez, calm down. It hasn't been that long. I met Sir Arryn. The Sir Arryn. Oh. Stop pacing around. Be calm and wait. Oh, too bad. I don't want to wait. I'm leaving. You owe much to your father. All these guardians. And Sir Oren, too? And Someone's I jealous. Mr. Seymour's quite taken with you. The world must look different when you're the daughter of Lord Braska. <laughs> this has nothing to do with my father. I am traveling on my own as a full fledged summoner. Oh, is that so? What the hell is Tita's doing in the background, though? On your own two legs for once. Your guardians won't be able to protect you when the time comes. All right, and with now that that trial's done, we finally got our third Aeon Exion. Anyway, I think I've done enough recording. I've recorded enough for today, so uh, yeah. So next time we'll be uh, heading on towards the moon flow. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.